Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at the interior and exterior angles created by a transversal when a transversal goes across two lines that are presumably parallel. So here we have three different cases. Here we're looking at the two corresponding exterior angles and we can clearly see that they are congruent, they have the same angular size and we can conclude that if a transversal cuts through two lines and the corresponding exterior angles are equal, or I should say are congruent, then we can conclude that the two lines must be parallel. So in this case, A must be parallel to B because the two corresponding exterior angles are equal to one another. If these two angles are equal to each other, or are, I should say, congruent, then we can also conclude that lines A and B are parallel. In this particular case, we're looking at two interior corresponding angles. So again, if the corresponding interior angles are congruent, we can then conclude that the two lines must be parallel. Here we have a situation again where we have a transversal that cuts through two lines and we can see that the, the corresponding interior angles are congruent, therefore we conclude that those lines must be parallel to one another. So C is parallel to D. And now let's take a look at the interior angles. So here we have consecutive interior angles, three and five. And if those two angles are supplementary, what does that mean? If the measure of three added to the measure of five add up to 180, then we can also conclude that those two lines are parallel. So if consecutive interior angles are supplementary, which by, defini by definition means that they add up to 180 degrees, then we conclude that line E must therefore be parallel to line F. So those are very handy uh, theorems that we can then realize and utilize for all kinds of situations. Now, the reverse is usually even more useful. But in other words, if we know that the two lines are parallel, then we can conclude that exterior corresponding angles must be congruent. If two lines are parallel, we can then conclude that the corresponding interior angles must be congruent. And if the two lines are parallel, then we know that two consecutive interior angles must be supplementary, meaning they must add up to 180 degrees. I've seen all kinds of applications where knowing this is extremely handy. So try to memorize that because we're going to need it in some examples to come.